Here we go. Our layout. Regards. Arlea, Trevard sent me to find you. So that's our um, Draenei uh, Paladin friend. Order of the Silver, new Order of the Silver Hand. So everyone deserves compassion. Everyone. So it's good because if you happen to have forgotten, you could get the reminder. There you are, Arlea. The Tears Guard is ready to get back to Tears Disc. So last we left off, I'll. I'll I'll ask her also. I'll see what her option is. So last we left off, um, Eternus, the infinite dragon that we helped out, uh, the one that was originally fighting with uh, Chromie going through time. We went to the Black Empire. We went to our starting area and all that fun stuff at the start of this <laughs> expansion. Um, now we're, we're here. They were trying to pinpoint where the discs are. They found out where, which was the Nighthold. Um, and that Elisand was very likely nearby, but they were still trying to pinpoint when. So the question has been, when at the Nighthold are the discs that we try to first get in the Legacy Alderman Legacy of Tear dungeon, which appeared in the pre-patch um, of Dragonflight and is one of the, the dungeons in rotation. That was a year ago. In real time. In our time as players. Um, and now we're, we're going to go get those discs or try to go get those discs. Um, thing to note, uh, no, that's a spoiler and I wish it was one I didn't know, but, um, the reason, well, okay. Tears guard disc. Can you remind me? I understand Arlea. A lot has happened. A little bit, little years worth of stuff, real life and game stuff. Uh, Javard recruited us, the Tears Guard, to help him recover the Disc of Tear that contained the Keeper's memories. He recruited you to teach us how to be adventurers and to keep us alive. Then Chrome and Eternus had us deploy temporal beacons to find the location of the Disc of Tear, which has been lost in the timeways. The Disc is now in the Nighthold in another- Hi, <laughs> Gammon. Uh, the Disc is now in the Nighthold in another timeway with Elisant. And we are ready to take it back. So, uh, looks like we're going into the night hold and get front to get a sound. Um, now, what the just the information that just supposed to supposedly hold are how to restore the aspectral powers to the aspects who lost them fighting Deathwing and Cataclysm. Uh, yes. I know what happens. I know that part of what happens of the raid um so no spoilers but so it's going to be curious because this technically was not accessible until now so i'm not sure if in the timeline of events of dragonflight this event actually does happen after the raid or not um that's my only my only question right now. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna find out what happens. I have read nothing about this. I know why we're going. I know what the point is. Is supposed to restore Tyr, who's supposed to restore restore the aspectral powers to the aspects. Um. So. May Tyr take your hand. I don't want Tyr to take my hand. All right, data recovery. <laughs> data recovery. He lo he loses hands. Why would I want him to take my? <laughs> okay. Data recovery. I hope I have. Sorry, you. New York City sirens. It's a thing. That's just annoying. No, that siren. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's annoying. All right. Data recovery. A lot of rigorous training. After a lot of rigorous training, the time has come. Javad believes that Tears Guard is ready to recover the discs of Tear from the Nighthold. Meet us at Tears Rest, the new Tears Guard headquarters. It's just south of Tearhold. We will finally make Tear hold whole again. Meet Travard at, at the Tears Guard headquarters. Except now, remember I the first time I went looking for this. I'll see what you trust, Arlea. Don't keep the tears guard waiting. 
Well, what are you gonna do? Leave without me? I don't think so. So, um, when I first did this, I couldn't find where to for us. They said they were going south, and I was flying totally not. I was flying west from tier hold and go i can't find it and then on another character I, I did fly actual south and i found it it's on the opposite side of where the um, catalyst is if you go there before then you see it looks like it's a training ground but there's no one there but once you do you, you do the tier quest up to the part before this um they they start appear there they they appear there and they're talking and they're training. It's, it's pretty fun. But as you can see, it's the opposite side of where that's what the catalyst is. See, so yeah, I probably should have gone to pick up the quest first since I'm flying right back here on the other side. So yeah, so when you arrive here, um. Before anyone is inside, you see them training outside, but clearly now we're on quest mode. Really? I don't know, warlocks. That seemed like a waste of a portal. Is it me? But I guess if you got them, why not? Alright, here we go. So, yeah, the whole gang's here. Study, practice, discipline. One must always strive to improve oneself. This tier thing is bigger than the both of us. Wait a minute. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. You need your big sister's help? I'm actually talking to Hadwin, but I just know this Vindicator Boros is over there and I'm stoked. <sighs> Honored. <laughs> I missed you too, my friend. Come in here on a paladin. Um, I do have one at seventy, but so we have just a card, Julius Celeste. These well, these these names should sound familiar to paladins. Um, and Vindicator Boros is here, and of Argus. Well met. It's really impressive to see what Trevard was able to achieve for Tears God with Coronos' help. Tears Rest has everything these paladins need for their missions and plenty of room to grow in the future should they succeed in restoring Tear. See you Tears around. Rest. It brings me joy to see how Trevard has brought together new paladins for Tears Guard. It's good to see both Alliance and Horde working together. Blood Elf, Lightforge, Sandalari, even the cool tier even a cool Tyrion. It reminds me of the unity we paladins had during our war against Legion. Those dark days forged unbreakable bonds between us, so call back to Legion. Um, Remain vigilant. Oh, there is something to read on here. The Reforging of Tears Guard. There's a book. And I pick it up. I have another book from my bags. At this point, I think they're just effing with us. They're gonna give us a library tab, but they don't want to tell us that. <laughs> they have- they've given us too many books, this patch. <laughs> There's four books from the Emerald Dream. Already, that I found, at least. Um, there might be others. Here's a fifth book from this patch alone. Still walking around- well, actually, we don't know what Rathian's book does. Um... I'm hoping to find some resolution to this at some point. Um, yeah, no, nothing else has changed with that. But yeah, that's going to sit in my bags. Anyway, let's read this. Honoring Tears Legacy. Uh, when I determined that reforging Tears Guard was the best way I could honor the legacy of Tear, I decided to record notes on events and individuals so that future members of Tears Guard could look to our history for guidance and inspiration. Coronos. Oh, Coranos. Alright. Coronos 
went with me to Tyr's tomb to witness his final memories, and since then he has been utterly dedicated to the cause of Tyr. This Titan Watcher has a level of determination I have never seen before. In addition to accompanying me on my journeys through the Isles to find our recruits, Karanos also did most of the work to clear out Tyr's rest. Without his help, I don't think I could have reestablished the Order. Tyr's rest. When Karanos and I found found Tyr's rest, it was a largely empty hall close to Tyrhold, full of discarded Titan re ton mm. full of discarded Titan relics and remains. We cleaned out. We cleaned out most of that, and I sent a letter to Silver Hand asking if they had e any extra supplies. They sent what they could to spare, and now Tears Rest is our headquarters. The result was a strong foundation for building building the Tears Guard. Right now, there aren't many of us, so a headquarters isn't too important. But soon, I suspect paladins from all over Azeroth will want to see what we've doing and possibly join our ranks. Exemplar of Sacrifice, Nalaki. I came upon Nalaki upon the road from Wingrest Embassy. She and her brother were trying to protect a pair of dragonkin from a great jarred and champion. They, they appeared to be quite outmatched, but Nalaki was deeply committed to protecting her brother, a strong warrior in his own right, with no thought for her own safety and no fear. I knew she belonged in the Tears Guard as I knew she belonged in the Tears Guard as the exemplar of sacrifice, though it though if Koronos and I had in combat just th at that time, that likely would have been her last heroic act. Exemplar of Order Talthus Talthus is, sim is simply unusual in how he values order. It's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> Koronos, I found him at the Flash Front of Salt, where the Primalists attacked Ruby Life Pools. He was surrounded by heaps of stone and gravel and defeated elementals. More kept coming and he kept fighting them, tirelessly. All the while shouting about how dis <laughs> disorder would not carry the day. Koronos and I joined him, and when the dust and gravel settled, I told him how the Tears Guard needed an exemplar of order to serve in service of Tear. He joined us without hesitation. Exemplar of Compassion, Valonay. I saw Valonay when we were on our way to Valdraken to Tearhold. She had stopped to help an injured Draconid, who said he was a veteran of the rebellion against the Aspects. Contemptible. I don't know about that. But not only did Valonay heal him. As we were waking up, I saw her hand I saw her hand him a pouch of gold. She refused to tell me how much was in it, but she helped that Draconid, who had been injured fighting against good and order without stopping just as his just as his physical injuries. Little, little long sentence got a little jumbled up in there, but I, I get it. Seeing that, I knew she was the right paladin to serve as Tears Exemplar of Compassion. Exemplar of Justice. Hadwin. We met Hadwin at the Onarum Plain in the Onarum Plains as we had it uh, as we heard loud We met Hadwin in the Onarum Plains as we heard loud noises off the main road. Following the sound we came upon Hadwin and a centaur. Bolar, I think her name was, fighting Gorlocks. The Gorlocks had killed her hound companion, and Hadwin, having heard her story, accompanied her to bring justice to the Gorlocks. Borlar had wanted to kill every Gorlock in the camp, but Hadwin insisted they would only fight the Gorlock chieftain, and those Gorlocks which stood in their way. Seeing his commitment to make things right, and his aversion to vengeance, I knew he would be the, the our exemplar of justice. So it's a nice little summary of the the uh, the, f the folks in uh, Tears Guard, which I'm going to hold on to and find a place for in my bank until they give us a library tab. Because God damn it, give us a library tab. <laughs> All right, I realize it's a small percentage of us who hold on to this shit for. Now more than a decade. <laughs> but we hear you and we want our library tab. Okay, so let's find out. Let's get now let's continue with our quest. Who do we have here? We have Ovalone. I have found my purpose. Okay, to there you are, Leia. Tears Guard is ready to get back 
ready to get back to it. Okay. And you can get a chance to ask her to remind you what's going in case you forgot on the trip over from Veldraken. So let's do it. Greetings. There you are, Alea. Ready to finally get that disc? Yeah. Goodbye. To Tierhold, for Tier. We recovered. We trained. And now it's time to face Elasand. Come with us to Tierhold, where Nosdormu, Chromie, and Eternos are waiting to send us to the Nighthold. We will get that disc, and Tier will finally be with us one, once more. Speak with Eternos and Tierhold. I don't think it's going to run that smoothly, but let's see how this goes. We're going, we we're going to the again. Nighthold. That I was there recently. Okay, I haven't been reading this. Everyone, this is the moment we've been preparing for. Our Leia has joined us, and we're ready to take back the disc of Tear from Elisand. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't think this is gonna go as planned, but you know, it ain't the first time. Tear. No, I'll I'll grab one. I mean, just as a point of reference, remember when we came here? Oh, these things are gonna attack me. Um, when we came here to set the beacon and it didn't light, it's still not lit. Um, and then Razageth went ha 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 ha, and Alex and Alex went over to uh, both the Carnids, and we went over there to get Razageth. Yeah, that that whole thing. That's still not lit. That's just I wanted to point out. I don't know if it's going to be lit. But I'm just curious if like we lit all the beacons once it came, we lit them for everyone, then we went to that one. It didn't work. Okay, let's go. See? Here's our Leia. I told you she wouldn't keep us waiting for long. You were correct. Now we can get started. Oh, crummy. Okay, let's let's Kronos has nothing to say, there's a the scale. Tear still has one hand hanging out. So we'll see if anyone has any dialogue for me. Miss Dormu, what do you have to say for me to me? Open your mind to what is yet to come. The return of Tear will be remembered for all time, Arlen. Another time, perhaps. Okay, does that have a double meaning, Miss Dormu? Because we remember bad things too. Arguably more than we remember the good things. Okay, Chromie, what you got? All our hard work and yours and Travard has led to this moment, Arlea. I'm so excited for all of you. We'll meet again. I've seen it. Are you sure you're ready to go to the Nighthold? Are you sure you know what you were up against with the Zelasan? Yeah! Kinda? No one has mentioned where in time she is. You notice I'm put. I am getting stuff ready. Um, no one has mentioned what point in time she is. I just know the last point in time she is because Nighthold raid. <laughs> but let's see. Complete quest. I'm about as ready as I'm gonna get. Remember. Infiltrating the Nighthold. The information from our beacon suggests Elisand has locked the disc away in the- Oh, Astromancer's Rise, I know that place! Oh... Shit. Damn. It gets a little voidy in there. It's a place of learning, and the inside will have minimal protection. I have opened a portal where you and Tearsguard will at least- will have the least resistance, except for Elisand whatever guards are under her employ. All of you are on your own once you get there, so try not to muck it up. Retrieve the disc of Tear from Elisand in the Nighthold. Still don't know when. Except the portal to the Nighthold is ready. I have tried to place you out of immediate danger. Be careful. This is not our timeline. But with the knowledge Elisand could potentially gain from the disc, oh. she could be a threat to us all. All right, everyone. This is it. Our most important mission. We are going to the Nighthold. 
and we're going to get back that disc. Charge! Last warning's a soggy troll! Better a soggy troll than an ogre-faced man! Can you two please take this seriously for once? Light guide us. Fortier. I, I like this too. Um... An ogre-faced man. Uh, can you two please take this seriously for once? Light guide us, Fatir. I'm not racing him because, um, uh, Nostromer, what was that about? This is not our timeline? The sands of time are plentiful. You're, you're just gonna drop that precious. in there, no further explanation. Okay, so yeah, so Nostromer says, be careful, this is not our timeline. But with the knowledge Elisan could potentially gain from the disc, she could be a threat to us all. So Deus hit in, a, in a, an alternate timeline. That's concerning. He's technically dead at this point, because we just killed him. Um, actually, I killed him earlier this evening on another tune. Farming, farming stuff. Uh, okay, let's go in. Let's see, let's see what this is about. It's a different timeline. It takes us back to Legion. <laughs> Ready check. <laughs> New stage. Speak with Javar to ensure everyone is ready. Okay, no one else has anything else to say. Just looking around, just looking around. Where am I on the map? Oh, can't even really tell. So, this is an alternate timeline. I'm just amused also by ready check. I was also I was thinking in terms of uh, how I was saying uh, the follower dungeons and the PTR. I wish the the tank was Captain Garrick at least at least on the PTR. I, I do hope she is an option going forward because because I like her. Um, to do a ready check before attacking bosses. I made that suggestion on the PTR, so I have made it. I am actually giving feedback on the PTR. All right, let's do this. Javad! Fortier. We're ready when you are, Alea. Let's take back Tyr's disc. I'm ready. May Tyr guide you. Our main concern is Elisant herself. But she'll have guards, traps, and other defenses we'll need to open. Interesting. Um, guys, can you help? <laughs> I'm not... Well, that was messy, but we got the job done. Um, can you hold up for a sec? One of the researchers left notes from their work with the rel with disc. Click there. Right click to read. Day one. A mysterious disk of Titan origin was found in one of the canals today. There's no telling how long it has been there. The Grand Magistrix itself charged me with gathering researchers to unlock its secrets. Day eight. The Grand Magistrix Elisande is able. She checks in to see how our research is progressing. We've cataloged the disk's properties, 
but so far have found no way to access the data it must contain. Day 17. Magistrix Elisande has requested more frequent updates on the status of the disk. We've made little progress. Unfortunately, she seems to be growing impatient. Day 29. One of my more promising researchers, Runus. Ooh, shit! Found the disc seems to react to a certain spell. When I cast it upon the disc, it produces a feeling in my mind as though it was really secrets to me. But it can make no sense of the flashes of thought it creates runous. Oh shit. Okay, have you played Legion? Remember the area in Azuna? Azuna's the first zone. It's where you encounter Senegos, the blue dragons. Usually it's the first place you land if you're playing on your first character. Remember the Nightborn that you help, that you have to help, and then you loot at the end? The, um, the withered state overtakes him? Yeah, that ruinous. Uh, ooh. Damn. All right. Day day thirty six. I showed Magistrix Elisan the spell, and she seems to have more success in understanding fragments of the disk knowledge. Perhaps with practice, I will be able to comprehend these impressions as well. Day forty three. With repeated daily effort, I have been able to grasp larger and clearer fragments of this knowledge. Elisan's proficiency has grown even more quickly. She says it belongs to the Titan Keeper Tyr, storing all of his knowledge. Day 52. Elisan and I have learned a great deal from the disc. Our knowledge of the world pales before the brilliance of the Titans. They see order in many patterns. We had assumed they were purely chaotic. It's impossible to predict how our continued study should impact the Shaldurai, which is the uh, um, name for the Nightborn. Their own name for themselves. So, Runus is in the room. I didn't even know he was standing there while I was reading about him. Runus, Jesus Christ. Um, I have feelings. It was a very emotional part of Legion. Uh, so Runus, hey, hi. Hi, Runus. Um, yeah. I wish I had the voice acting back. I do not recognize you, but I sense, but I sense we are somehow connected in a way I do not understand. Go in peace, outsider, and be safe. I need a moment. I didn't know I was going to get to speak to him. Oh, man. Rude standing on the book, huh? Stand over here. Man, I got I'm gonna screenshot this. <laughs> so bear with me. Oh, I'll be back with you in a second. 
Ah, shoot. Okay. So, yeah. This is... Okay. Is anyone else in here? Well, there's a very scared, focused researcher. Damn, Runus. There's a bunch of scared researchers. Alright. Well, okay, there- Oh. This door. Yep, that's where we're going. So we did bypass it. I just lost like 20 windows in a row. I hope I don't die while I'm okay. So Yeah. We're in the raid, but we're if you were to do the raid, you're you we bypass a whole bunch of places. <laughs> Which is fine, we're not doing the raid, we're just doing this part. A noble woman. She's, she's died. She, let me read, please. Okay. A noble woman, she died protecting Elisand in the disc. Noble? What? Elisand is going to align with the Legion. And that disc is tears. Yes, but she did not know that. And Elisand may not aid the Legion in this timeline. We are invaders in our home. May she rest well. I'm reading it on the side while I'm fighting. <laughs> because... Half of the time I'm waiting for them to catch up me, the other half of the time they're running up ahead of me. Alright. So Guardian Iran is a boss in the raid. Oh no no no. We're done. That's not he's not a boss. Well met. Be careful, Arleia. There's no telling what tricks we may encounter from Elisande. Goodbye. I have some idea. <laughs> I have been here before. Where's everybody else? This... Getting sloppy. <laughs> so yeah, Trevor, can, can you tank? No. Who's the tank in this party of paladins? Not me, because I am definitely not a tank. Or a paladin. Speak with Trevard. <laughs> Can he chill? Okay. More more dialogue. That construct. I thought only people aligned with the Titans could construct one. Construct such an orderly thing. They're like us, Talthus. Which makes this fight all the more tragic. 
It's Fallow Knight, of course. I suppose it is a construct. The real tragedy would be losing any of you. Tell this you're you don't you're annoying, but hurts in the right place, I guess. Through this door we will face Elisande and the this Garleo. Are you ready? Trace I'm gonna be. Yep, I know this room. Yep. Oh, we just, we're just right up in it. Okay. She used time magic and moved us back before we attacked her. With her mastery of time magic, we may need a plan. I have one that may work, Arleia. So, I knew we were going to encounter that. Because we encountered that in the raid with her. She has access to time magic. She has the eye of a Mavol. Ah, all right. Well, met. A plan to defeat Elisan requires precision and focus. Both things I have in abundance, Arleia. So, how about this? Have and I will attack first from the left, distract Elisan. Once we have her attention, everyone else can join. If she is distracted and our attack divided, she won't be able to throw all of us out. Ready? I have a feeling this is. I'm gonna do this more than twice. <laughs> it's a hunch. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Walk always in the Did I not mention the time magic? Because the time magic I knew about. I'm just gonna say I would have mentioned the time magic. Again. Speak with Nolaki. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this a few times. That still didn't work. We need to think this through. This tier thing is bigger than the both of us. Right now, the Elisande thing's bigger than all of us. That was a good plan, but Elisande is still a step ahead of us. We need to get two steps ahead of her to have a chance. What's your plan, Nolaki? If anyone bothers you, we you need someone Maraki, to draw Ellison's okay? focus first. That will be me. After that, we'll close in from all directions, except Valonai and Arleia. Except me and Arleia, why? Because with her attention on us, you and Arleia will come from behind for the final blow. Come. I can do it, Captain. With me. I am ready when Arleia is. Ready to go do our part to get the disc, Arleia? Let's go. This is Rogi. I like it. Valune, what are you doing? Elisande, please. We need that disc to restore the memories of our friend, Keeper Tear. His mind holds many secrets that could aid my cause. I know you want what's best for your people, but the world needs Tear's compassion and valor once again. So be it. I have gleaned the knowledge I need to depart this time way and keep Suramar safe. The disc is yours. You let Elisan go? I believe that is what Tyr would have done. You did the right thing, Valonai. 
She wanted to help with people. We were the ones attacking her. You have all done well. We have accomplished our mission. Now, we will forge the future of the Tears Guard. Let's return with the Disc Champion. I believe Tear has waited long enough. Did she just say, I'm leaving this timeline to save my people? Which timeline is she from? And where is she going? And does that affect ours? Okay, that just raised a whole bunch of new questions. Okay, then. I wonder, like, if you don't pick up that, those notes, which... If, uh, you can get them somehow. If that's your only chance. Huh. I mean, Alison wasn't bad. She did work did things out of desperation. She was like Ashara. Ashara was power by any means. She didn't. She was happy to sacrifice her own people to get it. Elisande was trying to protect her people. The only reason why she caved to the Legion is because she had no choice. That's very clear at the end of the ring with her. You made it back with the disc! Okay. It's a big moment. Or our not. final meeting. Or our okay. first. You, you don't have anything else to say. Oh, well, Strauss is out. Hey, what's up? Are yes, our layer? Inevitable. The balance um, must be maintained. No one else except. Okay, crown me. So, do you think something's going to happen, or is he going to raise his other arm? <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of excited. Waiting for this moment for a long time, we've been working on this quest. Okay, let's do it. Why, hello? Infiltrating the Nighthold. Glad everyone made it, Arlea. We have the disc, the silver scale, and Tear is reforged. Amazing, let's bring Tear back. Until next time. I see you have a part to play in this. Disc delivery. We have recovered the disc. Good. At last we can awaken Tear. The disc must be placed in the console so it can attune to the silver scale and pass on to Tear. I believe you should do the honors, Arlea. Let's set the disc of Tear into the Titan console. Recorded memories. Of, oh, it's a toy. Summon the Titan Disc to gaze into the recorded memories usable only in Tearhold of Veldragon. Okay. Um, interesting. And some flight stones. All right, I'll do anything for a toy. The one path must be preserved. There is only one true timeline. Did you place a disc in the Titan console? No, I haven't. I'm getting to it. Here. This is better have been worth it. <laughs> I'm just saying. My we stand united. Oh, well, now we gotta click on him a few times. Justice always. Order in all things. 
All we do is for justice. We stand united. I should have gotten a gold hand instead. Much better resale value. Order in all things. Oh. <laughs> I was also looking at his little stony knees. Uh, but that was funny. I had to hear the annoyed language, which was not even annoyed. It, yeah, it was pretty calm. I still think you're sus, Tyr. Just saying. But okay, let's... No one else has talked to me, so I'll talk to, uh... I'll talk to Nistar. Oh, that's Arlea. All life is I am Arlea. Season. Yes, Arlea. Okay, sorry, just checking. Um, no, let's talk to Nistar, man. Seeing all of time is my fate. Tear is with us oh, once more. Curse. I can hardly believe it. Thank you, Arlea. Focus on the now. Right, before I click on Ostraza, I'll see my toy. Okay. Oh, it plays back. Oh, that's cool. It plays back the um, cutscenes. A toy that plays cutscenes. That's cool. Can we get more toys to play? Of course, it also has me in my current, my current mod. <laughs> Which isn't accurate because I didn't have this bug until like this week. But okay, it's not it's not an exact replay of the past. Cool though, it's a toy that replays uh, cutscenes. I want one for every major event in the game. That's what I want. Okay, now that's cool. Um, though apparently you can only play one cutscene per hour. <laughs> Fine. I'll still set it as a favorite, but I'm just saying. I'd like to be able to play it more than once, play a cutscene more than once an hour. Okay, I'll just what is it you seek? This is incredible. A tearful reunion. This is incredible. Seeing our friend back after so many thousands of years, so much has happened since we last spoke. The world has changed. Our loss of tear was even before the sundering. It was before even the sundering. But there will be time to discuss all those things later. For now, it's simply good to be with our friend. Stay with us, will you, Arlea, while we reconnect? Listen to the Aspect's conversation with Tyr. Oh, hell yes. Yes, I am going to. Safe. How long have I slumbered? Too long, Tyr. Much too long. You have not changed, Alexstrasza. Who you must do but what of the other aspects? Time has not been kind to all of us. But new aspects have risen to take their place. Then, you have suffered in my absence. Is that why you have reforged me? At first, yes. But you join us now in a time of peace and friendship if it were not for our new ally captain trevard and the tears guard we may have lost you forever i uh, we the tears guard have followed your example for centuries we would be honored if you would stay and speak to us at our headquarters come tear there is so much we all have to tell you Mm-hmm. 
the rest. Like, where do I turn the quest? A hidden Travard's hidden well under a Drake. I almost can't believe we've arrived at this moment, Arlea. So many years spent serving the Tears Guard. Seeing those wretched Where was it? Seeing those wretched tears those what wretched? Seeing those watching Tears Tomb die out, and now both he and the guard are alive again. Until we meet again. Time to process. Tear is back after thousands of years. I don't even know how many thousands. His world has changed more than we can even imagine. He's going to have many questions and need answers. Meanwhile, there's nothing any of Tear's guard would do rather than to talk with Tear. Tear's rest seems like the perfect place to give him time. Answer questions and process those answers. Would you ask him to join us there? Invite Tear to join Tear's guard at Tear's rest. And look what we get. Dragon Isle Drake's White Scales. Unlocks this customization option for your cliffside wild Drake, Elder Drake, renewed Proto Drake, all the Drakes basically, you get the White Scales. May Tear guide you. Um. So before I touch it here. So yeah, I'm, I'm going listen. by what little I know of the post Farak scenario, post raid scenario um, scene that this should technically come after the raid. Where it's like, well, we get for this reason, but now we're just, you know, kind of cool that you're here. From pain, we draw strength. The future will unfold as it was meant to. So anyone want to talk else want to talk to me? For me. It's like meeting again for the first time. All our hard work and yours and Trevard has led to this moment, Arlea. I'm so excited for all of you. The time ways must be preserved. Okay, cool. So I get to I have to invite Tyr now. Hey Tyr. What's up? You're too tall. Justice. Always. Yes, mortal. You're with the mortal too, huh? Quest. The Tears Guard would be honored if you would join them at their headquarters. The waters protect. Certainly, Ole. I owe my restoration to you. And Tears Guard, I would be glad to. You talk too fast. Stop. I would be glad to accompany you, Travard. Lead the way. Tears Guard with me, Mazurmu. I'll report your return to the other aspects. But we'll speak soon, old friend. Just filing out slowly, extremely slowly. Dear, I know, I know you've been sleeping a long time, but you're technically dead. Go ahead, call me the mortal. Oh, they're here already. They're just chilling on the steps. Karnos is there. Alexstrasza's there. Well, everybody's here. Where there is life, there is. See, hope. this is after the raid. Barak is defeated. The tree is safe. And the aspects are renewed. Thank you, Alex Straza, for ruining the raid. Um, spoilers, Alex Straza. Um, and our friend has returned. I cannot remember when the world last seemed so right. So this is what's supposed Teresa, to happen the after the raid. You have been given. But whatever. Or I had an idea I was ruining it. some. Everyone deserves compassion. Thank you for your Everyone. help on this journey, Arlea. What an exciting time for the world, having a Titan Keeper back among us. I can't help but anticipate what a place Azeroth will become now that Tyr walks our world once again. I feel hopeful. I do not. <laughs> I hope I have helped you. I like you, Valanai. I, I want you to be right. Pleasure's all yours. Hey, Adwin. The Order of Embers never mentioned Tyr, but 
The silver weaponry they used fighting the Drust, they remind me of Tyr's silver hand. And now I wonder, is there a connection? Maybe I was always taught to look towards the dawn. It says maybe. Okay. Was there a connection? Maybe. I was always taught to look towards the dawn, even in the darkest parts of Drusfar. A glimmer of light is all you need to push back the shadows. Tears like that. The light in the darkness. Think on what is right. Or just think. Little okay, people not, don't do not that. you, Trevard, yet. Welcome, welcome. Come here, come here. I followed in the footsteps of the great mother, Trokal. My whole life, Ella and I, has followed her prime Naru even longer. We are of such different we of our we are of such different faiths, yes we have great bond that come out of following our new beliefs. I have much to learn from Bella and I, my fellow Tears Guard, and of course the man Tear himself. Where's what's his where's what's his face? Here he is. Light bless you. Deltas. I asked Tear what's what wrongs he planned on writing first in this world? The chaos in Northrend? The Broken Isles? Kelthalas? His response surprised me, truthfully. He said he must order his own mind and learn about this new world before intruding out into it. Logical, I suppose. But somewhat disappointing. I expected him to have all the answers. Perhaps that is asking too much. For tear in all things. Oh, there they are. Boris is over there. Just card Julia Celeste. Let me go talk to them. We are agents of the Incredible. Mm -hmm. I am so glad to see they were able to restore Tyr. This can only be a good thing for our world and for the Silver Hand. May the light protect you. For a group that Javad pulled together in such a short time, it is wondrous to see what they have accomplished. With your help, I understand, Lele. I wonder what the future holds for them. Be careful. Okay, I think I got everybody. Except for Tyr. I haven't for Tyr yet. All we do is for justice. Oh! I can ask him questions. Well, I got more questions than they're offering. But, um, let's ask them. What would you ask of me, Arleia? I saw your battle against Zakaj. Do you think we're finally free of the Black Empire? I believe my victory was decisive, but the Black Empire and its forces are insidious. I am sure there will be more battles to wage ahead. The Tears Guard and I will be ready to confront their forces wherever they may reappear. saying anything. We have another question. Well, can you tell me the Titans? The Titans are beings of unfathomable wisdom. The empowered we keep is to fight chaos. As a result, they are responsible for much of the good that exists. But even as a keeper, I was not privy to their end goal. Nor can I yet fathom it. Ooh. I serve them always, but I fear I cannot tell you much more than you already know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Can you tell me about other ancient battles you fought? I have fought in many great battles, Arleia. I fought with my brethren against the Black Empire that once ruled Azeroth. I fought the elemental lord, Ragnaros, prime desert with prime... And like with Prime Designate or Odin. Odin. Yeah, I saw him recently. With the help of intelligent proto dragons, I fought Galakrond, which is when I lost my hand. Those are the, the aspects, by the way. My final war my final war was with the keeper Loken and his forces when he betrayed us. The end of that battle, you know.
I've been in many battles as an instrument of war. Let us speak of lighter things. I wonder if he tells me I know because... Oh, he knows I guess I was in there. All right. <laughs> I have another question. Actually, those I think all the questions. So he doesn't Strive think... We're, I mean, we know justice. we're dealing with the Void because of Midnight. So it's definitely their forces, but not necessarily the old gods. Um, we have the blood of the old gods. All right. Tear. Okay, yeah. Trevar... I remember seeing Tyr depicted in the Strath in Stratholm Cathedral. Until now, he's only lived in our legends. Seeing him here, those depictions pale in comparison. I struggle to find the proper words, Arleia. I struggle to find the proper words, Arleia. There is so much good we can yet do, and yet we have you to thank for. There's so much, and yet oh, I can't read. There is so much good we can yet do, and we have you to thank for it. You're you're welcome, Trevor. Goodbye. Dear, we have dedicated our lives to serving your no memory. I must ask you, what is your will? My will is to continue the Titan's mission. Forgive me. Where are the bride group? They exist, but they are us. I, a human descended from them, many races coexist here in Azeroth. And in the Tears Guard. Yes, I see you have a troll in your ranks, and a Nolakai, yes, and the Draenei, Belenai. I have much to learn, it seems. That is my will, then. You will be my guides. Oh, oh, yes, we'd be honored. So you gotta catch Tyr up to date. He's a little behind the times. It's a good, like, you know, a good 20,000 years <laughs> behind. Well met. It is so good to be able to speak with Tyr directly. We have so much to tell him, and I know we all want to ask him questions. Thank you for making this possible. Until we meet again. Of the Tears Guard. Oh! I get a title. I get a title too. You have earned the title, Our Lay of the Tears Guard. The achievement of the Tears Guard. And the white scales. I'm going to go check out. I don't know if I'm going to use them on anything yet, but I'm bet maybe I'll... Yeah, I think I know which one I might use it on. So, yeah. So that's it. Tier. I remember seeing Tear to Fitch. Okay. I struggled to find the proper words. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, the Titans I mean, will guide you. May Tyr sacrifice not have been in vain. I mean, this is technically a post raid if you don't quest. Want it done to you, then don't do it. It's really that simple. And apparently, this Dormu's gonna come back with more to say to him, but I guess you don't want to want us to be here for that conversation. Fair but yeah, um, interesting. Winds. This is meant to be done after the raid. Justice. There's a little bit of a spoiler in here, so I will have to put that up in the description. Um, for anyone who watches after, and say, hey, there's, there's spoilers. Um, but yeah, so let's go check out those, uh, those scales. There's nothing else to do in there. I guess he's just gonna hang out in there and chill for a while. I think that there might be more to that. Like, I feel like something. He's back, fine, cool, but I feel like there's more coming. Like, no storm was like, I'm gonna go do something. I'm gonna tell the aspects, and I'll come back, and you know, we'll, we'll chat. Um. Meanwhile, uh, Cheers kind of needs to catch up on a few things. I mean, yeah, I could have just taken my Hearthstone, but... Mm. 
rebels have raided a caravan of medical supplies and taken them back to this encampment. Reclaim any that you can find. Ooh, I like that for a second. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Go check out these scales. I have the infinite color for that now. I do not have it on everyone yet, as I want them. No, I like that one. Yes, I've made them all the same. I made them all black. Look. Except here, because they only come in two shades. Um, I think there is another shade, but... So, I think what I was going to change... This is when I could turn to Razageth as well. What I have going on with the, the horns. I think that was before uh, I had other help. Other. Crest, ears, throat, hair color. Horns. We do want branched. What we don't want, I think, are. Crest. You know. Okay. We well, so don't mind the fin. Okay, we'll keep that. Um, but actually, what we did want to do is. Skin color. That's so weird. But if I do that skin color... Do you want hair? Yeah, I like the hair. Keep the hair. Um... Change the eye color to red. I kind of like it. Um, hell, I'm still missing Spite Club, which is the one I actually want. For the tail. That's it. Yeah, we're going to use that. Well, so yeah. It's funny, there's some like right over there with the orig original model of the uh, Wild the Drake. And I've got like end game model of them. <laughs> Before and after. Um. White scales are cool. Actually, I did want to see 
I'm not going to save it. But I do want to see one other customization. And it's... Do you remember when you first get the Slither Drakes? They're white. With red hair. And I think I could actually do that combination. I'm not going to change it to that. But you can do skin color. You can now change it to the white. And then... Harry is an option? I thought I had that already. I don't know. Spikes is... Okay. Oh, that's kind of wicked. No, I want Harry. Um, here we go. Eye color. Where's the hair? Here we go. Horn color, no. Throat hairy. Chin, body armor, head, armor color, tail, fur color. There we go. Yeah, I think this was the coloration. You originally saw the men in Zerlik Caverns when they were approached. And when, you know, Sibelian called them fodder. Piece of shit. Still mad at him. I don't care if he's gotten nicer. Still mad at him for that shit. Uh, but yeah, this is how they looked. Roughly. I think they actually, they weren't quite as detailed. They didn't have the, the horns and the armor or any of that, but they had the red fur and the white scales. And everyone was like, why didn't you give her the white scales? Why do they have black scales? So this is the black dragon flight. Each flight gave you a dragon color specific to them that then you could use for all the other dragons. Well, no, you didn't get it automatically. You did have to. You did have to buy it. It was a, a, a rep, rep. Oh shit! That was a storm drake. Storm drakes didn't usually fly around Valdraken. Wait a minute. There's storm drakes just hanging out around Valdraken. I did want to check that out. Well, I haven't been on top in a while. I wonder if that's changed any. No. No. <laughs> Marithra and, uh... And, uh... Yeah, he's there. And, uh... Abyssian still have their, uh... Their old models. Um... But I, they, that was definitely a storm dick that just flew by. But that's cool. I mean, if the storm drakes are just now casually added to the roster of drakes flying around Veldraken, that's awesome. Um, I'll go to. But I did want to check because we did, after all. I think I see it. Yeah, I just wasn't looking in the right direction. That's here. See? Oh, look! All right, I need to put a marker here. So we didn't go back and visit the Nether Drakes to see if they've arrived. And apparently, yes, they have. The Nether Drakes have arrived in Daldrassus. They've taken up residence. This is so cool. They're just chatting, hanging out. Oh, here we go. Little whelps flying around. We have. Oh, Chirigusa! Speaking with Lord Naku. Hello. I spent years with another wing in Outland. When I heard a Mordenaku was bringing the flight to the Dragon Isles, I knew they'd need some help adapting. He mentioned that you helped them settle in. I'm glad he has more than one ally on the side of the Dark Portal. Thank you for your aid. Farewell. 
It didn't occur to me that Tiragosa would be here on the Dragon Isles as well. Her arrival is most welcome, and her assistance is always appreciated. She's always had the best of intentions for the Netherwing. Between your aid and her help, my flight is, all, is being given the warmest of introductions to this world. Thank you again. Cool. This is cool. Oh, they're still here. Neldormia still. Wow, not only did you kill those spiders, you brought us new friends to play with. It's too cute. See, they're just chilling, hanging out. They got themselves a nice little nook. It's better than that island, I'll tell you. And they're chomping down. They got some lunch. They're making themselves at home. That's nice. Oh, okay. Netheraku! Um, remember the dragon that would give you actual quests in Shadow Moon Valley in Outland? He's in here schnoozing. Along with his mate, Karinoku. They still have their old models, but I think it's intentional so you remember them. I can't talk to them, but nice to see them. That's cool. And there's playful nether whelps just flying about. This is cool. So yeah, they are located right over here. That's where it was. I don't know where the storm drakes went. I'm assuming they're probably going to hang out with the other storm drakes, maybe? They clearly did not go back to freaking Odin. Um, I think they're done with Odin. <laughs> 